Hey everyone, it's Pastor Cody here from Voyage Church. Hope everyone has been staying strong in the Lord and uh, just making the most in, of this, uh, I guess this time of self-isolation quarantine uh, due to COVID-19. Um, here in Montreal, it's still the same old story. People are uh, pretty much restricted indoors and it looks like it's going to be that way at least until early May. Um, so it's been very difficult for a lot of people and still a lot of people are out of work. Uh, government benefits are coming in to help a lot, um, but still I think for a lot of people still probably struggling and wondering maybe what's coming around the corner and um, still more and more people are falling ill here. So definitely difficult for a lot of people and even if you haven't really been touched by that, um, maybe financially you're going to be okay and, and still you know, no one in your circles have, has become sick yet, I think even just the fact of now so many weeks being at home and not having the option of going elsewhere really uh, could be getting to some people in their hearts and minds. Um, so coming at that today, I wanted to kind of encourage us um, with a different, a different angle. You know, while the Bible speaks a lot about lament, um, going to the Lord with our, with our troubles and our concerns and, and just the, the real honest pain in our hearts, if we go to the New Testament, it also speaks a lot about joy. A lot about joy in difficulty. But there's something that comes before joy, I think, often it, when we look at uh, our, our circumstances and our relationship with God. And that's thankfulness. It's gratitude. So I want us to turn um, to 1 Thessalonians 5.18. Paul's writing to the church in Thessalonica, and he says, as he's closing out the letter, he tells them to give thanks in everything, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. And give thanks in everything. I think it's interesting. Um, what I definitely don't think is that he means to kind of give thanks, you know, while you're grumbling and holding your lips together. It's not a times are difficult and I'm going to just say thank you to God because I'm supposed to. It's really talking about a heartfelt thank you to the Lord in every circumstance of our life. And so I think that, first of all, that speaks to the fact that we can be thankful for something in every season of our life. We can turn to God in thankfulness no matter what circumstance we find ourselves in. And that's pretty awesome when you think about it, uh, that God has, has, has put something there for us. Uh, it's kind of like an Easter egg on a treasure hunt. And um, so as we kind of consider whatever place you're in uh, during this time, I want to encourage you to, to look with the Holy Spirit uh, with eyes to find ways in which God is, is working good in your life. Um, whether that's, you know, hey, all this extra time uh, that you've been able to crack open a few great books that you have been just waiting years to get at. Maybe it's, you know, now time to you know, just learn new things through new documentaries, or um, maybe it's picking up new hobbies with all this uh, time uh, stuck at home, and maybe connecting with people you haven't had the opportunity to do so with uh, in a long time. You know, it could also be, and I hope so, a new time of, of just solitude and prayer with the Lord. But maybe also it is a very difficult time for you, but through that, God is stretching you, growing your faith, uh, leading you to rely on Him and to just experience His goodness and His provision uh, more than you ever have in the past. And through that, He is preparing you for great things in the future. Through this, He is making you uh, just stronger. And in the future, you're going to be able to take that strength and you're going to be able to pour into someone else. Through you and through this difficult time, He is building up His church. And so, whatever it is, that the Spirit might lead us through in these coming weeks. May we just seek to be truly thankful because in every time, in every moment, God is truly working good things for us. With that, may I have a blessed day.